Hi, my name is Jewel Smith. I am from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Um, I came this weekend to Last Chance um, weekend to reconnect with my husband. We were really at a bad place before we got here. Coming, you know, through the gates and to this magnificent place. Um, I came here very angry, um, unbeknowing to some people, but I was very angry. And I technically already had in my mind that I'm coming to support what he wanted, but my mind was already made that nine times out of 10, this is not going to work and I'm going to be out. But a lot has changed. Um, day one was really rough, you know, got down to the root of things and what our problems were. Um, but it actually allowed me to see the faults that I had, um, where I played a part in why my marriage was not working and starting to fall apart. That also allowed me to see things in my husband that I never knew he felt. Um, it also allowed me to understand why he did the things that he did. So after we completed all of that, and then we went into class and we talked some things out and we fussed, we cried. Day two, we went on a field trip and I really got a chance to get emotionally, how could I say this? Um, I got in touch with a lot of emotion and feeling that I didn't think was in me. I was able to see some things that I didn't like. I was able to experience some things that I was afraid of. And in doing that, it definitely gave me a different mindset. It allowed me to cry. It allowed me to um, feel scared. It, 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 it allowed me to have all kinds of emotions that I didn't think I still had in me to come out. Um, we went for walks. That walk enabled us to talk. We talked about any and everything. We talked about the things that we want to see in our marriage. We talked about goals. We talked about setting boundaries. We talked about the things that we never talked about before, the things that we never thought about having in our marriage, but now knowing that those are the best things that you need to have. You have to set boundaries. You have to have goals. Your spouse is not a mind reader. He doesn't understand or she doesn't understand what you're thinking or you don't function the way he functions and she doesn't function the way. It's, it's just a back and forth things, but when you can talk and you can say, this is, this is what I think this particular situation is, then you can come to some common ground on how to restore it. I'm in a better place. I'm in a place of understanding. I'm in a place of renewal. Um, if you are going through anything of that sort, this would be the best place for you to be. I can honestly say that when I leave here, my marriage is going to be renewed. My thought process is restored. And I can only thank Danielle and Hassani for that and God, because if it wasn't for the three of them um, to help me through this journey, I probably would be still stuck in the mindset that I had that my marriage was over. So I thank you.